Hey guys, welcome back to our repair guys. In today's video guys, we'll show you how to uh, change the oil on Mercedes WT04. This one will be the C250. Uh, so that should cover guys the generation 2008 all the way to 2014-15 when the new one came out. This is the 1.8 engine, but if you have the uh, V6, I think the procedure will be very close for you as well. You always have to check your oil capacity, stay with us, we'll share your oil capacity and all that stuff. And we'll have more than 200 videos made on this vehicle, taking everything apart from engine work to mechanical work, door panels, interior, anything you can think of. So please guys, give a like, follow us for more videos, and if you need anything, drop a comment, we'll try to make a video. So let's start on it now. So this is the oil that we use, it's 5W40. Okay, this is really really good oil and it meets the BMW and Mercedes Porsche certificates right here. So you can see this is the one that we need for ours. Uh, it's for gas and diesel engines as well. Some people go with 0W, we prefer 5W uh, because in my opinion it's uh, just a little bit better for the climate where we live in. Uh, this is the original filter, okay, right here. All the parts, okay, and tools that we use will be shared in the description of the video below, so feel free to check them out. So some people will drain the oil and most uh, shops will drain it through the dipstick. In our case, we will do it the conventional way. I think it's a little bit better, you don't need any special tools or anything like that, so let's go ahead and start on it. We have it jacked up on one side only, always use a jack stand or put a tire and a wood block underneath it for safety and we're going to remove the plastic underneath so we can reach to the oil plug. So we're under the vehicle now with an 8mm socket, we'll remove a few bolts, okay for that plastic there. And again we'll have more than 200 videos made on this vehicle guys, so please follow us, click that like button. Okay, you can see what the screws look like. Okay, and we can pull that plastic out of the way now. So now we will need a 13 millimeter socket. Okay, and the drain plug. Okay, let me show you where the drain plug is located. Okay, right there. Okay, we got it loose. That's next to the oil level sensor as well, you can see there. So we'll remove the plug, we'll drain the oil. And uh, now, we recommend doing that when the car is cold, so we don't burn yourself. But in our case, what we do, we usually we start the car for about 10 minutes and then we drain the oil. But there is a possibility that if it gets on you, it can burn you, or you can touch exhaust or anything like that. But it will drain a little bit better if it's warmer oil, not too hot though. Okay, and we dropped our drain plug, so we will need to go ahead and find it in the bucket later. So we will let it drain for about 10-15 minutes. So while it's draining on the bottom now, we're going to go ahead and replace the oil filter. And this is uh, uh, the way it should be done, because when you remove the oil filter, you will leak a little bit more oil okay, in the oil pan. So we need to go ahead actually and do that first. Uh, your oil filter is located towards the back side of the engine. Okay. You can see right here, if you want you can pull that cover out of the way. It will give you just a little bit more room but not much. Okay, like that. Now, this is where your oil filter is located, this one that says turbo here. Uh, in our case, I think it's a 27 millimeter, but 1 inch and 1 16 fits really good. Okay, so we are going to go ahead, get it loose now.
and once you get it loose usually after a few revolutions it will start going by hand okay it's still a little bit tied up line it's a little bit in the way it's removable but I wouldn't recommend it We'll share the torque specs with you as well. Now we need to get a container because we're going to leak oil out of it. So we just get one container from water here. Okay, like that, we'll get it out of the way now so we don't make a mess there. So now we will take a small screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, and before we do that, okay, let me show you now. Always, okay, always open your filter, and you want to check inside the filter that you have new seals. Because if you remove the old one, sometimes you will break them. So you always want to make sure that you have new seals. In our case, we need three of them. And why is that? You can see one here, two, and the big one on the cap. So. We'll grab the filter and just pull it out. Okay, and now with the screwdriver, we're going to go ahead and remove the, the O-rings one by one. And all three of them are actually different sizes, so you need to install them the same way. The smallest one goes on the bottom, the middle one, the middle size is in the middle, and the very big one is on the very top. And the oil plug on the bottom of the oil pan is still open, that way we can drain even a little bit more while we are doing that. Okay, and this is the last one. Now, this is the filter right here. It's original Mercedes filter, made in Austria. Usually what we do, we put the numbers on top, but I don't think it's directional filter, it doesn't tell us. So you need to just push it all the way down. Okay, until it's locked in place. Okay, when it's installed, you can see it should look like that. So now, we can go ahead and install it. So on top right here you can see it says 24 Newton meters. So we're going to go ahead and install it by hand now. And after that uh, we will actually use the torque wrench to torque it down. We we'll recommend using torque wrench for everything guys. So we'll just get it tight by hand at first. And we'll use a click type torque wrench. I'll explain in just a little bit what it means and how to use it. So once it started getting tight, we're going to stop. Okay, now, this is the torque wrench. We set it at 24 Newton meters. You can find uh, uh, the two, more about the two that we use in the description of the video below. And once it reaches the torque that is set to, you hear a click and the handle will move a little bit. When you are in the lower torque numbers, because in our case 24 is not much, the click will not be so audible. So you need to pay attention and not over tighten it. Okay, listen now for that click.
Okay, right there, that's it. So that's plenty. Next we can install the cap on top. Okay, like that. So we'll pull the bucket out of the way now. We will leave a small container there so we can actually find our drain plug because we dropped it inside the bucket. So it's always a good idea to recycle your oil, never throw it in the trash, that's what we'll be doing now. So we found our oil plug, that's what it looks like. Okay, you can see it has the copper washer as well. Some people replace it on every oil change, we usually do it on every other oil change. So on the second oil change we do that. Now, we, uh, the torque specs for this one is 22 feet per pound. So the torque, according to the manual that I found for the oil drain plug is, plug is 22 feet pound. Two feet per pound, 22. Now in Newton meters that will be a different number, so you can find the uh, conversion table online, but our torque range has Newton meters and feet per pound. So we already have our setup, and uh, we're going to go ahead, get it tight now. Again, we'll be striving for that click out of the torque range, and when you hear the click, you have to immediately stop. Do not go more, because if you strip the thread, that's aluminum oil pan, and for your ear and model, I would recommend to check that anyways. To check that this is the correct, correct torque. So the same 13 millimeter socket now. In our case, I got a smaller wrench now because it will fit a little bit better too. So let's go ahead and try that because otherwise, if you have the car on a lift, it will be really convenient. But in our case, we don't. So, okay, let's hear the click now. Right there. Perfect. So next, on the bottom, we need to install that cover. Uh, remember, the rear cover goes underneath, okay, the front cover there. So that's very important to do. So we need to align everything, and you need to install the bolts that we removed. So, uh, we're ready underneath the vehicle. Make sure you don't have anything left there. Uh, everything's tied, that uh, plastic cover. Make sure there is nobody under the car. And we're going to drop the jack. Okay, and the car here is in completely leveled ground now, so we can actually add the oil and uh, measure the oil level as well. So according to uh, the manual that I found, for that 1.8 engine, that's the turbocharged engine, you can see the turbo right here, it takes 5.8 American quarts. 5.8, so that will be close to 5.5 liters. So this is a European jack, so this one is actually 5 liters. In the US, if you buy them, it's 5 quart jack, so it's a little bit less. Uh, you can find where we got ours from in the description of the video below. Okay, really, really good. And this sticker, okay, you can put it on the on the hood later and remind you for the next oil change. Look at that liquid gold there. So we went to the whole jack now, all five liters, and we will add a little bit more after that. So you can see the first one is uh, practically almost empty. And uh, what we'll do actually, we'll just add half a liter from the second one here, we'll add in the first one, that way we know exactly how much we put. So you can see we just added half a liter now, and we'll add this to the engine. And <laughs> after that now, if you put a dipstick, you might notice that your oil level is too high, but do not freak out. That's, uh, that's because uh, the oil filter housing 
and the whole oil filter assembly there it's empty so we're going to close the cap now okay first let's check three things guys that we did before we actually start the car oil plug needs to be tight oil filter tight and the oil cap placed on Four thing is to have sufficient amount of oil don't forget to put your oil okay so we're we're just a little bit So we'll pull the dipstick out, wipe it. You can see it completely dry now. We're going to put it in, pull it out, check the level again. And it might be too much, might not be. Okay, just barely less than the full mark. So next, I'm going to go ahead, start the engine. Okay, and let it run for about 30 seconds. Okay, you can see, uh, you gotta make sure that you don't have oil light on or anything like that. We're going to check our mileage, okay, right here, so we can write it down on the label. And we can go ahead, turn the car off, and we'll let it set, sit for about uh, two to three minutes so all the oil can drain back in the oil pan and check the level again. So it's been about 3 minutes, ok, we'll put the dipstick, wipe it again, check the level. And you have to make sure you don't have any oil leaks from the oil pan, from the oil filter, just look around to make sure everything's fine. Now, you can see, it's a little bit less than half. So in other case, we'll add a little bit more oil, we'll add about half a liter more, so just to be on the safe side. Because I told you the oil filter <coughs> and the oil filter housing will take some, so as a result, the oil level in the pan will drop. Okay, let's just add a little bit more. But it's very important not to overfill it because uh, even on some vehicles you can find a label that says that if you put too much oil, you can damage your engine and catalytic converters as well. So don't do that. You never want to exceed the maximum mark on the dipstick. Ours is in the middle right now. So, in our case, uh, we'll just add a little bit more so we can keep it to about uh, two, two thirds of the dipstick full. That will be plenty. And uh, Depend. Some people leave it at half, but we'll just add a little bit more, and that will be good. You need to give it a little bit of time to drop back in the pan, but by the time usually we wipe the dipstick and all that stuff, it will find its way down to the oil pan. Okay, you can see about two thirds full, so that's perfect. Now we're going to go ahead, place the dipstick. Uh, we'll put our oil cap on again and we need to go ahead and use the sticker that uh, the oil company provided for us. The one that, that's on the oil jack. And we'll just put it on the hood so we can know when the next oil change will be needed. In our case we made it for about 9000 miles so it's uh, 62. We need to change our oil again. They're easy to replace from the hood later if you need to remove it. Okay, perfect. So that's guys the whole video. Hopefully it was helpful. Thank you for watching. Please give a thumb up. And don't forget to follow us for more videos.